Well, howdy folks, I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records, not, buy, not buying much anymore right now since we've moved to Argentina. Haven't had a lot of time to go looking, and when I do look, there's, well, there's not any Jess Hooper records or anything like that showing up. No Charlie Feathers, no Sun House. Charlie Patton 78 did turn up here, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. And uh, right now I'm at Fridonia del Sur, S-U-R for South. We're just living life and doing our thing here. We we got moved in. We were in the uh, city for about, oh, I don't know, a month and a half, almost two months before we got to move into our house proper. Right now there's one of my cats wandering around and I just saw another one of my cats just wandering around. Don't pay attention to all that junk there. That's coming out of this uh, small house that we have on the property where the care caretaker had once lived and I'm turning that into a recording studio. A lot of our stuff's there in boxes that we uh, brought from Texas. So anyway, this was a real kind of drab, low ceiling affair, which was uh, just, just a mess. I'm building a recording studio here. Well, I'm paying to have it built. I've got a, a good friend of mine, Aramo, who, who used to live here. He's moved about five minutes away, him and his family, and they, uh, he's taking it easy and living life good. Okay, I just had to use both hands on it. Right now, it's a, it's a mess, but it's my mess. And uh, the ceiling used to end right about here to where this rafter was, steel rafter. Knocked all that out, got rid of all the things living there. And now, we've got a big extended roof that's got insulation, building up the walls on either side. This part's going to be a control room. Oh yeah, I shall be in control. It's going to be an all-tube studio. That's pretty freaking cool. I'll have my old uh, Ampex recorders, uh, my uh, old 36 Presto record cutter, my 58 Record Cut record cutter, and then a new one I've got. I don't know if it works yet. I bought it right at the last moment before we left Texas a uh, 56 Presto K11 and then my old 58 Gates uh, Level Devil uh, mixer compressor etc. This is going to be good. I'll have a good closed in uh, control room with a big window. Enough place there to put uh, one of Ike Turner's almost big R&B bands in there if they all crowd or, or a one person one man band could fit in there, couldn't they? But I like this place. It's just right for what I need. And uh, good part is, uh, Argentina's a place where if you've got dollars, you can come here and get stuff, get stuff done. Done cheaply and have money left over for other projects, which is what I'm doing. Some of my projects are finding the the best, cheapest beer, wine, meat. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. All this a mess. Give me two or three months, all this stuff will be gone. But anyway, my cats are getting used to the area. We had to travel with all three cats, handheld in little cases. And of course, they made sure we missed our connecting flight down in Houston, so we had to do another 24 hours for the next flight. First in a little dingy motel, then all day long in the airport with three not so happy cats. We're just enjoying the hell out of life here. We've got a uh, quincho behind the main house. That's that's like a party place. It's where it's got the big uh, parisha barbecue grill to do the asados. That's that's the barbecues they do here. Over here we've got another place to do asados got my own little crematoria there where I can burn meat potatoes trash whatever I want to burn it goes in there we're having a lot of fun I'm having a whole lot of fun doing not much 
But uh, we've already been playing some shows. We've got uh, a couple of festivals out of the way. Another one coming up in no November. And ah, I'm digging life here. I'm really happy too. That's the good part. I was getting really, really, really tired in Texas. And with the cost of living going up the way it has been in the States. Ooh, man, I'm 61. That was hitting me like a ton of bricks thinking, how long am I going to have to work before I can retire, if I can retire? Now, I could have scrabbled together some sort of retirement, but I might have been 70 at the time, still with no medical. Oh, yeah, I'm a resident here. I've got medical. It's nice. Love me some socialism. If you don't like it, ah, it's because you hadn't tried it. Yeah, I haven't, uh, you know, started quoting Lenin or Marx or nothing like that. Although I'm not sure about that cat right there. That's Callie. I think I named her for the Hindu goddess of destruction. But anyway, we like what we're doing and we're going to do a lot of it, whether it's drinking beer or playing music. Playing a lot of Sniper Elite 5, I like that. I would do that on rainy days, but weather here is usually so good. I don't have to worry about such. Anyway, come see me if you want. No, don't come see me. I got security out the ass here. It's it's really good. <laughs> but if you want to write to me or sometime, do it, okay? All right. Well, peace be unto you. Stay tuned. We're going to have music pretty soon. And uh, we'll show you more of the recording studio, what's going on there. Of course, we're going to visit records as much as we can. So uh, that will be nice to get back to. But it'll be different kind of format because it's mostly LPs or little 7-inch 33 records they call scene plays. Or it's going to be uh, Discos de Pasta, which is 78s. But you can find rock and roll on 78s here. You know, 50 stuff. A little bit of rockabilly, Sid King, things like that. But the thing is, there's not much of it. And it's pretty rare that you ever find it. There they are. Before we go, let's go meet Brenda. Brenda's the cat that came with the house. She was 15 and she was abused. She looked really rough. And she is vocal as can be. And she just loves me. All right, we'll see y'all later.